to suit up oh, back to the angle and not able to profit. They are slinking into Hunter's line and he does tap away one. Brawling down, it's Hampus and Rez that do keep NIP's concerns voiced into this round. And now it's time for three-man retake on G2. S attack's still outside B, and uh, Popsky's still oh. mid. They need to get to the bomb, and now... This gets awkward! Uh, boys! Right now, uh, immediately, S attack is sprinting over there. Monesty's already found himself a pair of frags, and suddenly the power changes. It shifts, and Alexi B catches one in adjustment onto Plopsky. This should very well be ending right here, and now they are faking it out. Alexi doesn't have the health for this. One bullet, one, one, one! Oh, Knocks them off, they have the kit, though. So Monacy not only closes with a 3k. Clear game plan. It's clear game plan and it will condition. Just two rounds, same set nades. It's Jax in a different position and his head just tapped away at it. He misses the first opportunity. Rez does go down and Monacy will clean house. Another quick reactive double out of Monacy from that donut position. Brolin, the newest addition to the team in the bottom 10 players in the tournament so far. And that's as it currently stands. Now, is that not a is, product of the shellacking as well? Well, it is. So they can lean back on late in the game, but Brolin in the pocket. Yeah. Already we're going to be seeing the rest fall down. Good shut down. Uh, Jax you know, 50-50 on his A defense so far. Yeah, and look, we also have noted with Jax as well in the game that we were commentating yesterday that he has a bit of a preference for the org. So when he's anchoring this side of the map, wants the 30 extra bullets, but doesn't need that when the AK is in his hands. But I'm peppering on to Rez. Player who was, uh, oh. who never met him. That's why I like, made the introduction. He had some questions. Was, was it OC? Bang? Oh, no, okay. But it was a, it's about the orping role. Been to get some util as a tell, and he will. Suddenly his defensive reaction it's required oh. a quick dink exchange. Both bodies drop. Jack still one and done. Good molly. They need to stop this plan if they can. S attack gets it down. Plopsky on the big box needs to live on. It's still a three on three for this retake. G2 trying to break back into the A site. Hampers through the smoke onto Monacy. Plopsky very low on this big box. Very susceptible to a bullet or two out of G2. It's Hunter and Nico likely switching languages and popping two off the block. It's just Hunter now. No smoke, but a flashbang. Hard to fight S attack here. He can play this smart. First bullet would have to be brilliant. And he gets the info off the strafe. He's running out of chances now. Hunter does have the kit. One fight. One fight is all he has. And he has to... He can take contact with all. He's actually playing anti-flash right now. Nades are coming in and he can peer on out and lock this one down. Yeah, not getting given. Oh, okay. Oh, I was going to say anything. Takes it through the smoke oh. and a quick one out of Hunter. A pair of frags. Built upon by Jax's could work well. Util barraging in. It's Nico that's going to have to ask for Alexi's help. And a missed Molotov. It means Alexi's safe and sound. And Nico again drawing blood for G2 early. Alexi swings through for another on the M4. Need a trade. Can't find it. Can't post it. Everyone down oh. other than Hampus, the leader from Sweden and his dastardly dig. Two of the five. Five, though, will have to be very well executed as they do rein in. Still to that two man defense. Barrel. Barrel of Nico spotted, but Hunter steps up and a missed shot on their orb. They are very light on time. Hunter and Nico low on health. Less attack though, still with the orb. Overkill into Hunter and chasing down Hampus is Monacy. Oh, oh, lovely on the dig. S attack still posting though. That's his second and now pre-aiming for this fight. Monacy to be swung on. He's ready for one, but not both. And there's N again behind this same util. Let's see how it goes. I mean, it would require a quick headshot onto Nico and then. A follow-up onto Alexi. Now he's been run down. They've got both of the requirements. It's a good smoke to hold Hunter at bay. And with Plopsky's plant, G2 at a disadvantage now. A dink, not bad. Half health for Hunter on the way back in. Esetag forced to watch. It is now quickly becoming a 3v3 and certainly favors G2 with the weaponry. Time though ticking as that bomb planted and that util does continue to shave a couple of seconds off. A smoke hit at an eye, Molly as well. You took oh, to be deployed. Perfect. There's a chance for this. Really nice incendiary. Look what it's done to them. It forces Rez actually forward into the smoke unless they don't spray it. It's very light on time. If Rez could just knock Jax off the bomb. <gasps> oh, Jax is on it. Rez, last can't chance deny. saloon. They can't, they can't stop it. Jax with the kit pulls home another G2 defensive round despite some heroic. Stark contrast to the T side we saw on a G2 just yesterday. And Alexi knocked on with a trade back to a four on four and Hunter's very quick to react. There is a threat from mid as it fades. That's a tag. Oh, catches one to the head, but has Hunter dead? Nico responds. 
one of the most impactful T-sided players, and it's with his T-sided all. Puts Hampus onto Jackson, losing the duel. They should go B now. They know there's one over towards A. So disconnected from the pack here. It's just Monacy. Yeah, Monacy, though, has been a real thorn in their side. And again, catches Plopsky. Great knows where his attack was. See ya. And, that's... and at this point, oh, they're standing. Oh, he's going forward. Look at this. Monacy's just really feeling himself right now. Repositions and collects. Hampus is gone. The flash for the reswing. Completely eaten by Plopsky, but no one or no need from G2. Yeah, they've done enough here, right? And this is the thing. Yeah, I guess. It's just, everyone just draws straws of who's going to be the body bagger. What did Yanko say? Nip magic with fanatic bullshit? Well, right now, I don't think we're getting either. Oh, Bronan. Should be dead to rights here. Alexi flashed in and... Oh! <laughs> oh, no! That's gross! Oh, dear. Oh, it's so gross. Jumping blind and the first bullet... How things transpired there. Now, Jax has smoked the donut push off. Do they really want to brave it? They do. They are pushing him in and he does turn the flash nicely. Jax racks up two. And there's more there. Bomb spotted. A lot of information flowing into G2. And everybody that peeks them meets their demise. It is only... See him scoped in, rounding the corner, but Alexi is coming. Five, four, well, gets one, and he's alerted the rest of the team to his position. Nico's coming. This could get worse. After time would be a bigger problem. He just needs to hide and will. To hold it by virtue of Monacy's aggressive secondary orb. Oh, Jax is going to walk about here, so A's call completely clear. That Freeze Hunter up to rotate over. Monacy coming too. Everyone's here for G2. Oh, the outlook is so bleak now for the Ninjas with just 25 seconds left. It's... About as firm as wet cardboard. Nothing for them here. And you can see the patience on G2. A multi-kill oh. from Alexi spraying down the entire attack. And S attack, what is he supposed to do? I guess try and save in plain sight, but that could be very risky. Five seconds. If he dies after time, he's got 2,000 bucks. And only one more round to be played out. Jax not going to find him. To already know what's up. You can see the rotation on that minimap. Nico even flirting to fill the gap mid. So they are leaning A. And this defense seems very rigid. Here's the util. There's the crawl. And down goes S attack. Monacy puts his name in the feed for another opening. They do have time. And they are starting to pick up the pace, starting to close that gap. Plopsky trying as, far, as hard as he might to keep Monacy looking in the right direction. Get some space into that donut position up behind the smoke. Far from convincing. Monacy's got this on lock. Hampers a lot of space. Jack's eliminated now all onto Monacy. You need to get that bomb across, and he has managed to at least keep himself alive. A four on four goes 4v3. Hampers doing everything for the ninjas to make that third round a reality. Ronan hearing this, the rotation through CT, maybe even calling two footsteps. Klopsky could walk, be forced out into this line. This is teamwork right here. Oh, it doesn't spread. Doesn't spread just a little too deep, and now Bronan can start to flank. Nico confirms his suspicions, and so it should be the double. Oh, yes. Bronan's MAC-10 has secured the third round, the final round of this first half. NIP's pick, and on the attack, no less. 50 to work first, but as they drop on down, have to be careful. It's silent as you like, but a hard angle to clear, and, well, Monacy's going to oh, do it. He's Simple so as you like. See you later. A is open for business. Yeah, and this is a real nightmare fuel for NIP now because what felt like an immediate advantage is now feeling like a disadvantage. Where's the retake. kit? Yeah, no kit. Prioritizing those jewelies and chipping away at Alexi. It's minimal damage just through the corner of Temple, and they can just play with their food now. Alexi still has a flash. If he goes around the world here, he might be able to use that, but right now, not so likely. Two players pushing through the Temple position. Plopsky through spawn, but remember, no kit. They're going to have to get a move on here. Yeah, really running out of options, and Alexi has position to perhaps throw that flashbang over, up and over. Brolin save. Damage done. Body's very low. Look at the HP, but it's still G2 that fill the feed, and Plopsky's just going to get sight. And Counter-Strike is essentially Essentially about the jewels. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I could be reading in it. Ooh, oh, Blobsky's given us some hope right there on the double deeg. Jack's pushing straight into S attack, though, and does exploit that unarmored scout. Back into the site now. Blobsky locked in. Double flame, but not going to spread. He's still safe in that corner. Hunter will get the bomb down. This could ignite a little fire in the bellies of ninjas if they can close. Jax exposed. Missed shots from Hampus, and Jax is still a threat on the MAC-10. Finishes it now with the HE. Oh. Hunter, good tap. More required. Hampus is there and low. But it's Alexi asked to come up clutch. A 1v3. They'll likely look towards Cave as it is too silent on site. 
He's got the lineup, and they did fake it. Oh dear. Pampas can extinguish oh, it. Oh no. Oh, Brolin's pushed in. They are on the defuse now, but already one frag of the three. Look at the tap. Oh, oh. my god, he finds another. Good knife res. He's not going for it though. He assumes they're off the ball. Oh. Oh. Ten second defuse res. Balls of steel. Take of ramp. This is what Jackson Monacy are waiting for though. This is exactly what they're waiting for. The round could be determined in this fight. They're coming. Jax is dead. Oh. It's a double out of Brawl and more confidence boosting frags for one of NIP's stars. Well, what's this? Three consecutive rounds now that NIP have found the opening. And in the last two, it's been double openings as Nico will put Hampus on his bottom. He will be watching for the next 30 seconds, but yep, Hunter yep, towards yep, A yep, with yep. a lurky kill. Oh, Rez, so scared. So scared. One more bullet out of that Tech 9 would finish him. And there it is, straight to the head. Time, they have to go B with the bomb. Yeah, and if Plopsky kills Alexi, that is the bomb. Plopsky knows knows how much this frag means to him, and the flank from sight is perfect. Nico doing a lot Knife now. Out. Caught out, 10 seconds. Alexi needs to somehow get this bomb down uncontested. Will Brolin brave it? Surely you just hold W. And he is running him down, running him down. Alexi straight round. Oh, oh, the movement of a god. And now it is the movement god with an aid right. Be in there, interest to do so cleanly and quickly. A lot of damage. Don't need to get greedy here. The nades are already in. Honestly's name's in the feed as we do see a two frag response. NIP have subdued the cave offense. And there is ooh, a deagle on Nico. Always to be feared. Careful with that big gun. You got the AWP on Esetag now being threatened. I don't know if that's where he wanted that smoke to land. It does not really so. drop that incendiary. Onto the site. It's going to leave them either an open plant or a must plant five second plant. Good flash in the flame. Yeah, so there you down. go. And mission accomplished. But Hunter's. Oh no, oh no, oh no. He holds onto the fam ashore. Off the time. That's a big issue. That is. Site. Already Hunter beelining in. Look at this flight path. Well timed. Oh, utility res completely flustered in that one. Run down by the Tech 9. Costs Hunter nothing. He still provides the opening. And the rest falling into place now for G2. 14th. Just a oh. couple of digs out of Hampus. That is convincing stuff out of the Swede, but bomb plan cancelled. Rotates in. It's Plopsky from the donut that will try and contest. And Esetag calling back through. He could be presented a frag here. Time of problem. Oh, oh no, plan. he's let it slip, and this should fall apart now. 14 for G2. Esetag in the 1v3 as the bomb's plan. Ancient. Now, yesterday against Ents, they had a great t -hard. They don't need a great oh. one this time round, but they're straight out mid. Half is going to mop up a couple. Make that only two. Dwarlin and S. They were proficient earlier with light util. Let's see if they can do it again. Monacy to be boosted up to look for a pick, but doesn't have anybody on the other side. Nico now needs to find this fight against Brolin. A bit of an off angle, sees the jiggle, goes for the spam, and Brolin can get away here, but caught in the fight, gets the first. Oh, Alexi's so low, and he still gets it back on the trade. The Finn doesn't take a point of extra damage in that duel. Up to 24 kills now as Alexi. Flashes are coming, I like this setup from Rez. He should have a headshot. Ooh, gives up the ghost. It's Hampus now close, and oh, they have got themselves three. It's all Rez spraying down the G2 commit. This half bite. Halved. It is just Monacy now and Nico. 27 and counting for young Monacy. More time. And with all the legs up they've had. It's just Brolin and Plopsky here, though. They haven't been the hardest hitters. Dumping their util in response. This counter util. How far does it get them? A boost to be set up. A boost to be set up. And it's Esetag actually finding Nico. He's just rotated through. Planning front side of the pillar here. This is different. Spot him. And if they do jump, Alexi's pre aiming that. Doesn't catch a glimpse of that boosted tower of Swedes. Three from G2. Two from... Well, there goes G2. All on Brolin. Wiped off the faces of G2 now. They're going to smoke top mid. Looks like they want to biff and brawl. Oh, it's fast. Hampus is here, but it's going to need some help. Going to need some help, because there's two in the feed out of Hunter. An AK recovered and pace into the A site. Brolin quick to address it. Already, though, as Jax. He may not be ready for this. Brolin not going to clear his corners. Walks straight into the Mac 10. And now G2 set for success on just a half by two left and gets the info. Monacy being a geek about it. Does so safely. And look at Hunter. It's not Nico, it's the other Kovac in the server. Hunter's the one to tip the scales back in G2's favor. Plopsky try as hard as he might. He's already taken one of this four-man clutch. But there's no time for this, and he has to accept it as well. They're going to have to fight and battle back in with four consecutive rounds of their own. Yeah. It's going to be fading in a second here. 
No one looking as it currently stands. Plopsky would love to take some contact to distract. His toes might be sticking out any second. Yeah, that's a problem. And Hampers now down. Rollin for a response. Gets it and gets away. NIP holding on now by a thread. It's Rez to mantle up in pursuit of glory. The CT smoke oh, kind no. of screws no, him. No, no, no. What? Oh, not only screws him, but might have screwed Rez. He gets caught off. And Esetag goes down as well. It's Jax on the A-Lurk. Here Still it is again. Look at the gap. The yeah. oh, there was a gap. It's all gone wrong for the ninjas and by their own hand. That is rough. By their own hand, Chad. Two oh, on four. I feel like it's done now. And this is their pick. So, beginning perhaps of the end for the ninjas here in Cologne. Well, Brolin's given up his position now. So, G2 on the A site already can start training their eyes directly where the young gun lies. The newest addition to NIP goes down as well. Monacy, lightning fast, removes him from the equation and Plopsky in another one on four situation. Yeah, oh, look, it's bleak. Jack seems set to collect. And G2 set to take us to nuke for survival. 16. On the board, G2, a dominant first half, closed with a couple of ups and downs. Definitely one to watch is Monacy, as he does what Nico did yesterday. The individuals of G2 firing on all cylinders and taking it in turn.